We got it. What up? This your boy Devontae from Devontae's Paradise. Man, it's been forever since I've done this. To you guys, it hasn't been forever, but for me, it's been forever. Um, had to redo the playlist, take some time off for myself, but that's neither here or there. We're not going to go too much into that. Uh, as y'all can see, we got a legend in the motherfucking building right now. We got your boy Nas. I'm going to be adding more songs on this, so I just, I'm just a little excited, and I'm like, yeah, yo, I had to get this out here. Um, it's a brief intro on Nas. So let's do the usual and go over the features. Actually, give me one second. Give me one second. All right, so yeah, we got your boy Nas. I'm back. I'm back. We got your boy Nas in the building. Uh, I should have been put him on. I wanted to put Raekwon on because I wanted to listen to somebody from Wu Tang. Uh, I decided to switch it back to Nas, Jay Z, and Nas. I think on a brief intro of Jay Z, I said um, some shit is I would never really fuck with Nas. I, you know. Oh, we got Nas in the building. Let's go over the features, man. We got your boy AZ, Q-Tip. Now, this legend, or this album, this album is such a staple. Like, if you ain't, you ain't a true hip-hop head till you know about Nas and Illmatic. And then we got It Was Written. Let's go over the features. R. Kelly. Foxy Brown, Dr. Dre, AZ, Cormega, Foxy Brown, said Foxy Brown twice, Havoc, JoJo, Mob Deep, and Lauren Hill. Now, this was the album everybody was fucking with. Uh, I think Jay-Z came up with Reasonable Doubt a little bit later, a little bit before. I can't quite put my finger on it. Uh, let's go into this third album, I Am, 1999. Now, this album gives me a lot of memories. Cause my mom used to listen to it and the, the song she liked the most was uh what's it called k-i-s-s-i-n-g so uh i'm trying to think because i know this is this is what uh this is when jay-z and Oz are kind of going back and forth in the background a little bit with each other two of the biggest titans in hip-hop you know Let's go over the features, man. We got Puff. We got Scarface, Aaliyah. The only Aaliyah feature ever that I ever have. Uh, DMX. And that's about it. So, Nas released two albums this year. Nostradamus. Let's go over the features. Ron Isley. Nation, Millennial Thug. Oh, we got some right here. We got Mob Deep. Rest in Peace, Prodigy, Havoc, uh, The Brave Hearts, and Genuine. And I think I forgot, because I don't know the singles. I think the singles on this one was Hate Me Now. I used to see that as a kid all the time for his I Am album. But as far as this, oh yeah, Rule of the World, 2 Chain Sample, that put Ariana Grande on that song. And then for Nostradamus, it was You Owe Me. Now, I guess J. Cole and Nas had a falling out about that. J. Cole, you can you can get more information on the song on Let Nas Down. I don't want to go too much into that. Now, we got 2001, Still Matic versus The Blueprint. Now, <laughs> uh, nah, Jay-Z dropped Takeover, Nas dropped Still Matic, or not Still Matic, Nas dropped Ether. Ether was one of the most well-known disses ever. Uh, Remy Ma 
put a SH in front of the ether, a sheether. Very smart move. Uh, came at Nikki. It shook Nikki. Even though her diss is, Nikki's diss is, I, you know, I'm not a bard, but Nikki's disses were pretty good, but it didn't matter. So, we got the legendary album Stillmatic. Let's go over the features. We got AZ, Mary J. Blige, The Bravehearts, which is an unreleased song. Amory, Millennial Thug, Keon Bryce, and Blitz. Now we got his sixth album, Godson. Wait, what was the singles? Did I miss? Oh, One Mic was a single, I believe. Everybody remembers Ether. Now we got Godson, 2002. Let's go over the features. We got Lake, Alicia Keys, Tupac, Jay Phoenix, Khalees, Claudia, Claudette Ortiz, and Bravehearts. Oh, and the oh, and the single is uh, "Made You Look" and "I Can." I miss that song, man. I miss that song, man. I think the problem with Nas and the reason why I didn't add him at first is because by the 2010s he was non-existent. Jay Z was a little bit existent, but Nas was like. And the, the 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 thing that really made me add Nas, to be honest with you, was his new album, King's Disease. I don't have any albums from 2020, but I will be fucking with that album. Tough. Now we got Streets Disciple. This is my favorite Nas album. We got so much songs and just listening to Nas on so much songs, is just it's a it's a blessing. Uh, but let's go over the features. We got Olu Dara, Khalees, Scarlett, Quan, Emily, Busta Rhymes. Wish got a new album out. I wanted to add him in, but man, it doesn't fit. Uh, Luda, Dougie Fresh, Maxwell, and Keon Bryce. Now the singles, and I'm probably missing some singles, so y'all can correct me in the comments, whatever, whatever. Uh, the single, I believe, was a Disciple. I was on NFL Streets 2. Any of y'all played that shit? Old school gamers, what up? Now, we got... After this album, he kind of... Started becoming non-existent. Now, we got Nas's A album. Uh, Hip-hop is dead. Now, do I believe that? When he said it? Yep. Hip-hop is dead. Man, it's a shame. Okay, so let's go over the features. We got Will I Am, Jay Z, Khalees, Kanye West, Chrisette Michelle, Trey Williams, New Dog, The Game, Marsha Ambrosius. Pretty dope album cover. Now, the single is Hip Hop is Dead. About you, and I think that's about it. And I know I think he got in the beef with Jeezy over this. Um, I don't even know why Jeezy thinks he can really. I mean, man to man, I guess, but I didn't get it. Now, Untitled pushed it back to 2010. Uh, Let's go over the features. There's not too much to say about this. The, the original album title is supposed to be a uh, nigger. <laughs> they didn't let him do that. So, but let's go over the features. We got Eban Thomas, The Last Poets, Chris Brown, DJ Khaled, The Game, Carrie Hilson, Busta Rhymes, and Michael. You see, it got the flash on him. Life's good. Push it to 2014. So now it's like these these legends are on this wave of dropping albums every about four years. Um, we're based off of because this is my paradise. So based off of my paradise, I'm gonna say Nas started it. One of my favorite, another one of my favorite Nas albums. Let's go over the features. Rick Ross, Mary J. Blige, Anthony Hamilton, 
Miguel, Swiss Beats, Victoria Monet, Amy Winehouse, and Cocaine 80s. Cocaine 80s is, I believe it's Janae Aiko, James Fauntleroy, and a few other producers. And the singles was Daughters. By this time, he broke up with, uh, he got divorced by from, from Khalees. I don't want to go too much into that because I don't want to make this like a hate shit, but you know. I just, I don't understand why he did it, but he got divorced from her. And this is the final album I'm going to have on here, Nasir. I'm going to add some more songs on here, but let's go over the features as of now. We got Puff, O70 Shake, Kanye West, Tony Williams, and The Dream. So well, the thing about Nas is Nas took forever to become current. And he's not much to do features either. So some pretty dope album covers. Nas is a legend. He's coming to Devontae's Paradise. Um, unfortunately, Raekwon is going to be X'd out. I don't know if I'm going to let the brief intro of Raekwon go through. Um, but Nas, Nas is going to be the replacement. So I should have been did this brief intro. I should have been done Nas. But it's because he dropped this new album. I had I, I was able, I'm like, yeah, I, I could probably insert him back in. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. Who you think is better, Jay-Z, Nas? Me, I'll take Nas any day. Uh, no cap. I'll take Nas any day. Uh, we can discuss it in the comment section. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Anyway, peace.